No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is Chris. Hello everybody, Carbons here, welcome to this special let's play of Delta Rune. Now this one will be special because it's a parody dub Delta Rune. Without further ado, we shall get to it. Uh, I'm precise, I will presumably mm, not dub everyone. I will not dub Toriel. I, mm, I don't think I will dub Alphys. I, I'll see her. I feel about it when uh, when I get there. Eh. We are now ready to go. <clears throat> it's only you, you little piece of shit. You thought you were someone, hey? All right. So we're not started officially yet, but soon. <clears throat> I don't get used to the sight of Toriel with a car. And I must have so many order of misusing uh, an officer weapon. <laughs> oh. Let's forget everything that's serious and just have some fun. All right, let's go to this. So, does everyone have a... Oh, Chris, we thought you were even coming today. I know it's not even close to Alfie's official voice, but there's no way I can make the official voice. What, we're doing group projects this month, uh, so walk around if I'm the partner, okay? And then bye! Crisp! I'm still so stable with your partner! Hmm. That's a nice egg you are there. Would be a shame if we would, let's say, partner with someone else. It's a black and white eyeball, hey. Sadly, it seems like it's already has partner. Curse you, egg. You betrayed my friendship. I will remember this, egg. Hey monster boy! Yo Chris, shut up earlier next time! I ended up having to partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps standing to me and say howdy partner like a cowboy. Please kill me. Or kill him. Or both. Partner, I hardly know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! You know I killed you and all your family in uh, the Undertale universe. All of them. All of them. All of them. <clears throat> hey, you seem cool, Bluebird. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Is that me? So, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. Not! I actually want to get the name! <laughs> uh, uh, did I mention a mansion? No, you did not. Go fuck yourself. Hey Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? You, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? You seem a lot into Christmas. And I'm not very much fond of Christmas. Foreshadowing, guys. <clears throat> you want to be partners? Uh, someone 
from you or anything you ask me. But I could ask me side piece if you could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Yes, ask. I'll ask. Please, I'll please, I'll. Is it okay if you have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I got a prop of this. I'm bored. But Chris is living. Alright, what the wait for you, I'm saying? So much as they went fine, big alone. <laughs> No, I can can not speak up. Uh, hi, Sose. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Am I late? Oh, no, fine. We're just on uh, uh, something powerful for the next project. Uh, uh, Sose, you're with Chris? Mm -hmm. Great. Be with the dog. None of everyone else here, I want this sign word. Uh, I said I want to see that shock. This is the third time it's gonna be missing, and uh, you all know I can't start class without some shock. I did not grind it into powder and sniff it, if you ask, it was one time, just let it go! <clears throat> so, anyway, how about this? If no one picks up, Everyone gets an A! I mean, I mean, gets in trouble! Uh, anyone, please? Hey, don't mind your box in the supply closet! Please help me, why don't Susie and I? What are you doing? Susie, since you came in the last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. And Chris, can you go with her and make sure she uh, actually gets any kind of stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. So you didn't want to partner, I guess. Don't I? My thank you. You're probably one of the first ones to actually say something real nice. Chris, if I had Helms, I would take off this cool hat in remembrance of you. You're saying I'm going to die. You're saying I'm going to die. No, you're going to die. You're all going to die. Except you. And you. Uh, I think about it. Chris. Didn't see you there. Hmm. Hey, didn't see anything just now, did you? I saw a gorgeous young woman eat something. Hmm. You can't even say? You can't say what it was? Chris. Whoa. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Well, that's a, that's a shame. You think just because you don't say anything, I can tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the choke. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked, you know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Actually, I was just thinking you look very cute from behind. It's no use lying now to try to soothe me. Just let, let me say one different thing. Seems like a waste to get special just for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> Why don't I just give this place for some real carnage? You gonna eat... You mean you gonna eat all the chalk in school? Chris, how do you feel? How about losing your face? Well... That's only the second worst part I could lose today, I guess. The first one would be my soul.
Nej. Nah. Chris, you're bigger to the mother. Be ashamed to make her bury our child. Thanks, Susie. Alright, let's get this over with. Thanks, Susie. You're a really sweet girl. No, I'm not. You are so sweet. I'm not. You're a cinnamon roll. I'm not a cinnamon roll. You are the sweetest cinnamon roll there is. I going to murder you, but not today. We'll get more chalk, we'll see back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. Uh, well, okay, I don't even know what was the assignment, so that's gonna be a toughie, but... How is that sound? Don't bother, and don't bother us saying, I was gonna say, okay, fine, I'll do it, but we're probably gonna get an F because I have no clue what I'm supposed to do. If you haven't got any by now, your choices don't matter. Uh, so... Hmm... So what should my project do? I'm thinking about just making a portrait of your gorgeous long hair from your back. Because it looked gorgeous. And you know it. Let's go freak. No need to be rude, you have got just back and you and you know it. Got just there, shit. Shit, she will know. She will definitely know I find her cute. Even though I said it so repeatedly and insisted on it. Shit. Shit. Oh, hi. Hi, Susie. Fancy, fancy meeting you here. God, can you walk any slower than that? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. You mean you will? Come on, freak. Aww. Well, here's a closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. We were? Hey Chris, is it me or is it really dark in here? I don't know, my hair are uh, obstructing my eyes. I can't see shit. What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? I will gladly go in, but I, as I said before, I can't see shit because my hair is in front of my eyes right now. Uh, wait, for me for clear it. Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I go in seconds. Oh, both at the same time. Both at the same time. Yes. Yes. You're the coward. And you're the cutest. Shut up. You're the cutest. Shit. Fuck this shit. Oh, uh, see? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in there but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing, 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 nothing. That's weird, I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Wait, I'm thinking this is odd. I mean, we are... Wait, we are two students in a dark closet on our own. Susie, are we dating? Uh... No, can can a big closet by the way. You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. But if we are alone in the closet, I mean it's a very really spacious a vastly spacious closet, but doesn't that count? Stop it, you freak, shut up! I'm trying to find the fucking light switch in this fucking closet. Hey Chris. I think this closet's uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked out enough. If I this one shot so bad, she can get it herself. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we are probably going to end up in Narnia or something. Let's split. Okay, that was 7 seconds in heaven, I guess. Oh! What the? Hey, this, this isn't funny. Let us out! Let us! 
the floor is... Oh yeah, I think that's why we scream. this body. Oh, I miss the feeling. Ah. Kind of boring on my own, not too, but... Ah. I should probably find some playmate. Ah. Hmm. Even more familiar than uh, I expected it. The light only you can see fills you with determination. This is not the underworld. It's not the underground. But it feels yet so familiar. Where am I? And also, who could be here too? Hmm. I feel something strange, but I am so glad to be back. <coughs> Where is Susie, by the way? I have to pay my thanks to her for. I mean, that bullying probably did not help much, that idiot so blind to it, but that closet helped. I should give her my thanks for it. Or... Hmm... Maybe it might be too soon to end this. I should probably find... Hmm... Maybe I could have some fun. I'll play pretend for a little while. A glow shard. What is this? Not a weapon. Useless, but let's see where it goes. Um, let's find Susie and... Hmm. But everything is friendly in this world. Good. That just means I can play pretend and still somehow play pretend my way. Oh, the fun we will have. At least this one's easy. I'm more waiting for something more, how to say, exciting. Something daring. Something dangerous. <laughs> hey, hey, back off! Come any closer! Chris! Yeah! And you don't almost get me like that, dumbass! Unless you want to get clocked in the face, eh? Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Oof. Uh, where is he, eh? I have no idea, but damn, you look cuter in this outfit, even. Doesn't matter, you got us into this man, you get us out. Hit the way, Chris. Is this a date? No, it's not! 
Oh my god. Are you going so that we can have our date? No! I'm not! Hey Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Hey, hey, hey! Run, Chris! Oh, she's worried about me! She's she's the cutest! Damn it, Chris, just shut up and run! By the way, who's that guy? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Chris, down here! Again! No, no ladder. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. You sweet. Shut up. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. I did not answer, but I was going to say yes anyway. So you keep going. Wonder if there's anyone in the building up there. What building? What building, what building, what building, what building? Oh, that building. I mean, best way to know is to go. Let's go, Susie. Maybe this place we can have our date. We're not dating! A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside your supply closet? Maybe it's to stock the knights of the supply closet. That's the stupidest thing you ever said. Welcome, heroes. Mm -hmm. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Maybe it's a knight of the supply closet. Shut up, that's stupid. There is no knight of the supply closet. Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. It's a knight of the supply closet. There is no way like knight of the supply closet. Welcome, I am the prince of this kingdom, the kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land, a legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, hero, listen to my tale. No, <coughs> listen, <coughs> listen. Very well, then. Tell your story, knight of the supply closet. You should I am the Prince of Darkness, as I said. I'm not the Knight of the Supply Closet. Oh, told you. Although I do have a few knights, and they're in the Supply Closets. Just shut your fucking mouth. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dream. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of... Tell Tower. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the heart will draw a final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. 
a human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Today, the fountain of darkness, the chisel that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon, and with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend, that despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, assemble! Uh, nah.